Yeah. It's like a New Zealand sandwich. This feels good. <laughs> I haven't been in a New Zealand sandwich what, for like a year. Anyway, I'm here with the boys from Drax Project. It's a pleasure to be sitting down with you. Welcome to Los Angeles. Um, I believe I've just been told that some, one of you may have been here before, but not for work, but this is your first team trip as a team to LA. So how are we feeling? Is this what you thought it would be? Because this is every musician's dream. Yeah. It's pretty it's awesome. insane. It's crazy. Yeah. It's like, I mean, it's actually pretty chill. It like, is chill, right? LA it is. is yeah. LA is like, kind of has some similar vibes to New Zealand, I reckon. So what did you come into this thinking would happen here? Probably the opposite. We thought right. it was going to be like fast paced, like huge city. Everyone's just like, go, go, go. But people are pretty relaxed. That's New York. Wait till you go to New York. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And, um, your journey over the past, how long, how long has this band been a thing? Uh, we've been together playing shows for about four years as the four cool. of us. How'd you all come together? We met at jazz school, so okay. we actually studied music together. So when you guys got together at jazz school, would you have imagined that this is where you would be X amount of years later? Not at all. No way. If um, someone had told you this, what would you have said? Um, sorry, who are you? What are you? Who, like, yeah. what? Yeah. <laughs> What's the story here? Like, yeah, exactly. Because um, we were, at the time, we were learning kind of hard out technical jazz music and stuff. So let's talk the EP and the single, of course. Um, the single's the big one, but the EP is going to be awesome. Is it out? When's it come out? June 8th. June 8th. That's the date. Okay. All five right. tracks. All right. All right. Five tracks. Um, <laughs> all right, all right. Was it a hard task to choose the five tracks that you wanted to put on this EP? Because I'm sure you had more than five tracks in the works, right? Was it a hard, you know, task narrowing them down? Yeah, we, we have... We have a lot of tracks that we're working on all the time, so I would say that it was pretty clear that these five went together. Mm -hmm. yeah. But um, but yeah, we we still have heaps more to come. So. <laughs> yeah. What's the writing process like when you get four guys in a room? How does how does that work? Does one person input ideas to all four people? To, like, do, does someone write one line and the next person writes another? How does that work? It's kind of exactly that. Like, someone usually brings a an idea to the table. Like a guitar line. Fairly or a, fleshed out. Or like and a melody or yeah. something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then we all just go from there. We all have input on everything. Like, if I think up something that Matt could be playing on the drums, then I'll, I'll say. And Matt, and Matt has a melody or a guitar part. Yeah. Matt is playing guitar on some. I woke up late, actually, a little bit. There you go. All right, there Thanks. you go. Nice. Yeah, congratulations. <laughs> nice. Well done on that. He's actually playing lead guitar. Oh, lead guitar. There you go. That's, that's the credit you need. You started busting, busking in Wellington, which is where I was born. Good city. Good city. Yeah. Um, what type of stuff uh, were you playing when, when you were busking? Is it different to what you're playing now? Yeah, kind of. I mean, Matty had a lot of choice. He was like, he was, Matt was always on like, he, he knew what was current. He knew what people would like stop while they're walking past to yeah, listen yeah, yeah. to. And yeah, I mean like, how did you even, what were you what listening some to? examples like, well, do you remember that, sh that song Thrift Shop? Who doesn't remember the song dun, Thrift dun, Shop? Dun, 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 Who dun, doesn't dun, remember dun, the song? Okay, so we just we just played that so many times because yeah. back then that was, it was it was big. Right. Um, heaps of like Taylor Swift and Michael Jackson, like literally everything would just like everything kind of that you knew through. people would like. Yeah, 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 yeah was, totally. So it was kind of funny because you know some people would be walking down the street and we'd try and preempt what they were gonna like. Right. And smart. Would kind of get yeah, them smart. get them dancing. Yeah, yeah. So and it, you usually it, you, yeah business decisions. These are the important <laughs> business decisions that you need to make. Um, I was watching uh, a clip of you guys online and you were talking about how you love all kinds of music from electronic to trap to hip hop these are all totally different styles you say you study jazz like there is so much going on who do you guys like at the moment charlie, charlie, Puth? charlie, charlie Puth. Puth. yeah he's the man yeah he's yeah. the man ed sheeran's the man yeah 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 um yeah. like 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 yeah more out there jazz MJ. stuff yeah. MJ. Yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 nice yeah. nice you mentioned ed sheeran there of course you opened for him while he was in New Zealand, yeah. you're laughing. That must be a, that must have been the craziest like experience of your life. Of course, you opened for Lord as well, um, but Ed Sheeran is just next level. Yeah, I think I'm laughing because I'm st we're still just still getting over that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How how did that collaboration come about? Mm. I don't know. Yeah. We're just like we were in, in New Zealand. Our single had come out. People had heard it, and then like the touring company who was doing Ed's show thought that we might be a good fit, and we just got it. So you're playing, you, you've played big gigs before, but you know not the forty-five thousand you know arenas that this this guy was playing. Yeah. You get out onto that stage, how do you feel? Strangely enough, we we're all quite relaxed. Yeah, mm. for some reason, right? It was like we'd done like heaps of rehearsals, obviously leading up to it, and yeah. that gig in particular, or those three shows, were the first time that we had like. 
like we always have our sound tech with us but we had you know like guitar and drum techs we had we a had, whole team we had a us. whole team just like looking after every aspect mm. other than the music yeah. so we, all, we there just had so to many, play so many people there as well i felt like the whole of new zealand was yeah yeah, 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 yeah literally yeah. it probably was the whole of new zealand in that one audience like, yeah. yeah i think it was like two percent of the population went to <laughs> yeah, those it's shows, it's it's shows. yeah no, it's like, a, the yeah. day after that we looked through like the the charts and like our songs were like popping up into the charts there you just, go. Like, just from there <laughs> those gigs. there you go out yeah, of nowhere there's just too many people to like to you know you're just overwhelmed you walk out and it's like well there's a lot of people but we're still really relaxed so yeah, yeah well, it's good that you're all relaxed i feel like if you went out and, and was nervous it would show in your in yeah. your performance right nervous. you were nervous yeah you just thanks for putting your hand up to say you were nervous yeah it takes it takes a lot to admit that camila cabello has just been announced that is huge as well because that yeah. is not in new zealand yeah. Yeah. that is happening in the uk of all places i know you know you're 300 us on an emotional roll I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. I, i'm doing this for you right now how do you react when you find out that you're not opening for her in new zealand you're opening for her in the uk that's a whole new audience there well we we really love camilla's music you know as we were talking about before we listen to lots of stuff and we're fans as well so we really love her music and we really love her song especially Havana yeah. um, and we did a cover of that there you um, go like an acoustic cover and I think somehow that kind of <laughs> that kind of yeah, yeah, did a great vine made its way to her I think it's, it's we're doing the UK and Europe as well right like it's yeah, yeah, yeah. Got, got you're like doing eight. the oh you're doing the yeah, whole you're doing the whole thing doing like eight eight days. Days. Yeah. Yeah. oh I didn't know that I just thought it was UK you're going around Europe with her yeah. Yeah. what has it been cut down yeah yeah <laughs> I didn't know that see the information I was given is that it was the UK you guys are going all over Europe yeah, far out <laughs> yeah, me dropping the mic. Well, yeah, well done, boys. Uh, first time to Europe as well, I'm guessing. Pretty much our first time out of New Zealand, as you yeah, said before. Right. So yeah, so your life we're is just, just yeah. a crazy wave right yeah, now. Yeah, you're just so. riding. It's really mm. overwhelming. Um, lads, it's been a pleasure chatting wow. to you. Thank you so much uh, for coming in. C congrats on Lord. Congrats on Ed. Congrats on Europe. Congrats on Camila. Man, thank you. Let's, thank yeah, you I know. Crazy. Let's watch an acoustic performance. Cheers, guys. Woke up late. Somewhere far away from home Pockets empty, wallet gone the Sun is streaming all on down in my face Laying down on someone's bed A girl that I had hardly met